Hello, magnificent human beings. My name is Landon with Yoga New Mexico, where we focus on empowerment, alignment, and strength. You are in the right place, capable and strong. What are we going to do today? It is standing separate leg, forehead to knee, Dandayama Vibhaktipada Janu Shirshasana. It is this pose. So if you were looking to learn more about standing separate leg, forehead to knee, this is a 25 minute class that definitely involves that posture and many more. And this is all to help get you loose, awake, and ready to start your week. So roll out your mat and I will roll the intro screen. Find yourself standing here at the top of your mat. Feet are separated just gently, palms down by your sides. Close your eyes and breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Focusing on that breath, full, calm, and steady. Allowing an intention to surface, something uplifting, something calming, whatever you wish. And once you have that intention, sealing it with three cleansing breaths. So inhale through your nose, inhale, 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 hold. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale through your nose, inhale, inhale, big belly, fill your lungs. Exhale out the mouth. And inhale your hands up overhead, open up your eyes, squeeze your glutes, very gentle back bend. Exhale out the mouth, back bend. Inhale, hands up. And swan dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Relax. Fingertips on the mat, coming up high onto those toes, chin to the chest. Exhale, relaxing down into that ball, that kind of modified toe stand. Go ahead and inhale your glutes up. Exhale your heels down, forward fold, relax. And chin is the last to rise, slow and steady, coming all the way up. Hands up overhead, back bend. <sighs> Exhale, very good. Inhaling, hands up. Exhale, fold all the way down, forward fold. We inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hind your toes, coming to your ball. Once you get there, exhale, shoulders drop down, chin into chest, relax. And then inhale, your glutes up into forward fold. Exhale, relax, forward fold. And chin is the last to rise, slow and steady, coming all the way up. Hands up overhead, squeeze your glutes, exhale, let it go. <sighs> Inhale, hands up, exhale, swan dive, all the way down, forward fold. Place your fingertips on the mat, identify that left foot, bring it on back, lunge position, and then slow and steady, inhale, hands up overhead, crescent lunge, your anjanyasana, breathe. Hands come down to frame that foot. Very brief standing splits. Raise that leg, set it on down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, relax. Hands on the mat. Right foot comes all the way back. That brief crescent lunge. And then inhale, hands up overhead. Breathe. 
We're still kind of flowing, getting things warmed up with our sun salutations here. Hands come down to the mat, and then brief standing splits. Set it on down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold. Relax. Put your fingertips on the mat, hands on the mat, walking it all the way back, downward facing dog. Pedaling it out in your down dog, moving around. Waking up all of those <laughs> muscle groups, your calves, your hamstrings, fingertips spread wide, soft shoulders, relax. Okay, right or left foot. Take your left foot <laughs> and bring it all the way through. Base of that lunge, inhale, hands up overhead, crescent lunge. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Ground down your back heel, open it up into a brief warrior two. And then pivot back into crescent lunge. Hands on the mat, brief standing splits, set it on down, forward fold, relax. Inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold. Very good. Fingertips on the mat, walk it all the way back, downward facing dog. Fingertips spread wide, tailbone lifts, soft knees. All right, next side. So right foot, bring it on through. Base of that lunge, hands come on up overhead, your crescent lunge, breathe. And ground down your back heel, warrior two, just briefly. Doing your quick checks though, this knee directly over that ankle, strong feet on the mat, reaching, then pivot back into Crescent lunge, <sighs> hands on the mat. Your back foot, step it up. Brief standing splits, set it on down. Forward fold, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold, relax. And chin is last to rise, coming all the way up to standing. Hands up overhead and back bend. <sighs> inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands by your side. Shake it out. Finding yourself in the middle of your mat and take a pretty shallow stance forward with that left foot. So your heels are separated by about three feet. So nothing seriously wide and nothing too shallow. Hands on your hips. And this is a very important part of this posture. Square your hips with the front. So engaging those inner thighs just a little bit. Holding here and this knee, we don't want to hyper extend it. We do want to keep it straight. So it helps to engage this quadricep right here. Nice and strong. Hands come up overhead and then saluting on down. Keeping your hips square as best as you can. And once you get to right about here, you can separate your hands for stability if you wish, or really keeping those fingertips together. And wherever you are, bend your front knee as much as you need so that your forehead can make contact. And from this point, you can then gently begin to straighten that leg. Stay with it, it's a lot, I know. Right. 
Bring your eye gaze forward just gently. Those fingertips come to meet and slow. Come back up. Release your hands down. Excellent. So in our standing separate leg, forehead to knee here, it's really about getting your forehead to touch that knee because it makes that kind of energetic loop and connection. So um, whether you kind of feel the stretch or not, that's almost secondary. It's really more important that you get that forehead to your knee. And it also allows things to kind of relax in your back and in your neck a little bit too, which also helps to facilitate uh, the stretch as well. Okay, hands <laughs> back on your hips and then just step your feet together. Kick it out, shake it out as you please. Okay, this time, your uh, right foot. Stepping that right foot forward, and heels are in one line, and don't have this foot ducked out it's too much. You want it pretty straight. So, hands on your hips here. Arms up overhead, hands in that prayer position, and then saluting on down. Separate your hands for stability, and if that knee and forehead are really far off, it's fine. Just go ahead and bend your knee as much as you need to so that forehead makes contact. And then you very slowly kind of work backwards to straighten out that front knee. Separating your hands and hinging back up. <sighs> hands on your hips. Bring your feet together. Shake it out. Okay, getting down to the mat. Inhale, hands up and brief back bend. <sighs> hands come up overhead. Exhale, swan dive all the way down, forward fold. Hands and feet walk out into that downward facing dog. Lowering onto your knees and wag it out, shake it out. So this uh, standing separate leg, forehead to knee is often called different things. I've heard it called a uh, pyramid and um, standing uh, salute, standing forward salute as well. So there's a lot of names, but here is a modified version. And I will say that pyramid is actually kind of a different pose, but I think people tend to get these things interchanged a little bit. Take your left foot, place it in between your hands and come up into this kind of kneeling lunge position. And then this front foot here, heel toe it so it's directly in front of that knee and bring it back just a tiny bit. So kind of shallow stance here in between, maybe about, you know, a foot, maybe eight inches, something like that. And if you notice, kind of lots of balance stuff happening here. So engage the root of your spine, engage your core, hands up overhead, and then here's your modified version coming on down. Much easier to Kind of bring that forehead to your knee and then work on kind of the balancing aspects of this posture. Again, your hands can be separated or together, whichever one you wish. Just breathe. Engage your core. Come back up. Release your hands. Heel toe that foot back out. Place your hands on the mat. Tabletop. Kick it out. 
Wag it out. Okay. Next side. Right foot. Place it in between your hands. Hands on your hips. And then remember this front foot, heel toe it so it's in line with that knee. And shallow up your stance a little bit here. So maybe about a foot. Not too much space in between. And if you start to wobble, that's fine. It's normal. Engage the root of your spine. Engage that core. Hands up overhead. Strong foundation. And then saluting on down. Bring that forehead to your knee. Separating your hands if you wish. Really rounding that spine. Chin into chest. Breathe. Slow, 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 coming back up. Bring your hands down and move that foot back to a more normal position. And tabletop. Wag it out, move around. Okay, so tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Bring those hands out just a little bit. Shift your weight forward into plank. And because we didn't do one all class, let's do one just briefly. Lower halfway out into your chaturanga. Push it back up and then lower all the way down to the mat. Raise on up your upward facing dog and downward or just laying on the mat. No down dog. Let's just chill. <laughs> Bring those hands down around behind you. About five minutes left of class, so just a few more postures. Just breathe. In your own time, as you wish, rolling onto your back for a first Shavasana. Always getting a sip of water if you like. Laying on your back in your Shavasana, hands fall out, feet fall out. Just breathe, just relax. Okay, take that right knee, bring it on up, interlace your fingers, the top of that shin, squeeze it on in, brief wind removing, strong arms, so squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And still hold your knee, but backing off the intensity just a little bit. Left hand grabs the outside edge of your knee, and then you guide it on across, coming into that gentle spinal twist. Bringing that right hand on out. You can look over that right hand. You can make a cactus arm, whatever you wish. Close your eyes and breathe. And slowly, slowly untwisting. Come on back and 
set that leg down, shake it out, bob your knees. Okay, so both knees, bring them on up, interlace those fingers, or grabbing for opposite elbows, cross, whichever one you wish, squeeze those knees in, squeeze, 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 nice strong arms, Your breath will be shortened just a little bit, but that's okay, you've got it. And slow, slow release, setting your feet on the mat, hands by your sides. All right, so go ahead and getting set up for your bridge pose, Setu Bandhasana. Those fingertips just barely grazing those heels. It's kind of a good marker of the distance here. Waddle your shoulder blades in, and then inhale, lift those hips on up. Keep with your breath. And set it on down. Keep your left knee bent, and then bring your right foot out. Left knee, bring it on in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That wind removing your opposite side. Strong arms, but relax everything else. And backing off the intensity, right hand crosses over that knee, and then bringing that leg on across, setting it down for your twist, your cactus arm, your airplane wing, your bat wing, whatever you want. Just soften, breathe, relax. and untwisting, finding yourself in your final shavasana. Feet fall out, arms fall out. Just relax, just breathe. Any thoughts that come up, letting them dissolve away, focusing on that breath, focusing on your intention, calm, relax. as you wish, slowly, slowly. Coming back, you can remain laying down, or if you wish, sitting on up so that we can bow together. Thanking you all so, so much for being here. I truly greatly appreciate it. Do not forget to hit the like button as well as leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. I would greatly appreciate it. I really love the modified version of this posture. It just feels so good. Thank you guys so much. Remember, you are magnificent human beings in the right place, capable and strong from my heart to all of yours. Namaste.